Hello my boys, good morning! This is another currency making guide. We're gonna talk about essence crafting on fractured items. I talked about this in the past, but I need to update my guides so they are up to date. You know, they are more uh, concise, more up to date and people will enjoy them more. So enough talking my boys, I prepared here a tab with various items that have fractured modifiers. In case you're a sucky boy and don't know what's a fractured modifier, I'm gonna take some examples because we need to understand the basics, yeah? So I'm gonna take some chaos orbs and here are the fractured bases. Fractured bases look like this, you know, and they have a gray line with a modifier that's grayed out. These modifiers remain unchanged. So if I am to craft it, you know, chaos orb, it's a form of crafting, and you click it, you will notice that uh, the lighting damage to attack stays the same because it's a fracture modifier. Same goes with this, the fire resistance remains the same. This is a modifier that will uh, stick here the movement speed remains the same. So you got the basic. Fracture modifiers are uh, things that don't change. Most of you already knew, but yeah. So what happens if you apply an essence on a fracture base? You will have two great modifiers guaranteed. So this one, uh, let's put it on the gloves. This guarantees that you get the highest uh, roll possible of life. And you have another guaranteed from the fracture. So two guaranteed great modifiers. Fire resistance, tier one, and life. You see, and you click it. Which actually... It's good that you have two guaranteed great modifiers. Same for the boots. Now I'll have guaranteed life and movement speed. Yeah. Oh, we already crafted. <laughs> we already crafted something good. <laughs> okay. So you can, as you can see, it's not that hard to craft with SSCs and fracture bases. This is not bad. I'm telling you. So this uh, boots I bought it like one diviner, and I made more than two divines. And you can still craft. This is better. Let me check a few things. So. Already we crafted. <laughs> Let's take another example. Man, essence crafting, it's casual player flaming. You know, they don't need to think too much, man. It's pretty easy. Now, what I need to tell you, so for essence crafting on fracture bases, I only craft gloves, boots, helmets, rings, and quivers. I skip body armors, I skip belts, I skip amulets, mostly because uh, there are a lot of unique belts body armors and amulets which are better in my opinion it's a waste of time they tend to sell harder and it's a pain to craft maybe body armors in some very specific situation yeah but we want to get rich fast we want to think less so stick with what i teach you here so only gloves helmets boots and quivers and rings this is all that you need to craft in order to get a fractured item let's talk about this also you can drop it inside the maps from certain monsters you can apply a fracturing orb yeah we can you can find it here this is fracturing orb yeah and the third option you can uh, turn in some divination cards that award a fractured item if you do a map and you find a high tier modifier for example you find high tier lighting resistance cold resistance you will keep it you will see this video and you will craft it now, what I need to tell you here that all these bases that I have here for uh, boots, gloves and helmets, they have evasion rating if you notice, yeah? All of them, even the helmet, evasion rating. Why is this? If the armor has evasion rating, you can trigger spell suppression, which is a modifier wanted by a lot of builds. Let's try to craft this. Let's start somewhere. Here I have the fire resistance fracture, which is uh, highest tier. And now I will apply an essence. Now I have also life, two great modifiers. And I will keep clicking here until I get spell suppression. Yeah, here. So for the gloves, the best modifiers that I can get is chaos resistance and spell suppression. Yeah. So I will start clicking until I have here. Uh, man, this also is good. Depends on the leak. If it's leak start, this uh, can sell pretty good because we have attack speed here. We have this can sell on leak start, for example. But uh, now it's end leak. We only need to craft good stuff. So I'm gonna click clicking here. Um, the essence with life until I have spell suppression. You will get it. Look, I got it. I got it. Let's check the tier. So this is tier one spell suppression with life and, and resistance. Uh, it will have value. Don't worry. Just as it is. So for these gloves, I paid 20 chaos orb. Now with this simple crafting, I made more than three diviners, but it gets even better because I have two open modifiers that I can do. So what I can do here, I have, uh, let me think, yeah, usually I do it like this. I put a betrayal craft from June, a special craft, because, for example, this one, I love it a lot. It gives more area effect and the socket agents plus one. Also for damage, we have a few ones. This is great. More damage during the flask effect. And also there are a lot of new players that uh, when they see this modifier, they are new to Path of Exile, they will buy it most of the times. So I'm gonna do it like this, I put damage during fast effects with perfect roll, 
Good. And now, as you can see, we have five modifiers. So we can put an exalted orb, yeah, which is very important. So now I'm gonna put an exalted orb and I pray I get maybe an attribute or a resistance. Oh, I got a shit, but it still, uh, it still has value. So these gloves, I can sell them now for four divine orbs. You know, let's put it uh, somewhere, you know, I put it here. I put four divine orbs. From 20 chaos, four divine orbs, and I didn't uh, use many defining essence of grief. Now let's try craft another thing. Still gloves, so you get used to it. Here is another resistance, called resistance. Good. Now I'm gonna put defining essence of grief for life. And I'm gonna click it until I get spell suppression. Now it's late league, and uh, most of the people want spell suppression. And chaos resistance. These two are great. Dexterity is also great if you get. Because has evasion rating, it's inclined of getting the spell suppression modifier. I'm, I'm also looking for a good roll. So I got spell suppression multiple times now. This is great. So we have cold resistance, spell suppression, life and dexterity. I will tell you that these gloves are expensive. None, <laughs> none listed. Well, the bullshit. We, if now it's also a price checking, how to price check. If none listed, you just lower the rolls until some appear. Also, look one month ago, but you know the trade uh, health now in uh, Necropolis is not good because a lot of play players quit it. So you need to trust me. I already know the price for this. Plus, we can craft. Let's craft something. So we have three suffixes and two open prefix. Look what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna. Craft a special betrayer craft. Yeah. This you need in order to access this recipe, you need to unveil items with June. So this baby here, you go unveil the items and you gain that recipe forever in your crafting bench. Now, if you remember, uh, we check how many modifiers we have. One, two, three, four, five. We can use an exalted orb. Always use an exalted orb because maybe you get something good. Horrible, horrible. What I you can also do, because there are a lot of new players in Path of Excel that are sucky boys. You can apply some lesser elder chambers and icors until you get something universal that can be used in a lot of builds. I like to do this also. For example, spell suppression here implicit is great. Uh, and something that can be used for a lot of builds. Let me think. This shit, I don't know. Extinguish enemies on hit. You know, you're a firefighter. <laughs> okay. And these gloves, boys, now it's five divine orbs. I'm gonna put it five divine orbs. Easy money. How much I invested to craft these gloves? Less than 50 kills. And I made five divine orbs. Okay, my boys. So let's put it here. Good items. We put here five. Now, again, I need to repeat that it's Necropolis and League. The. This is not a great league to craft like this because we have the Necropolis Graveyard system. But if the future league is not a crafting league, you will get rich making such items. Let's go back here. Now for the quivers, let's try to craft some quivers. Most of the veteran players go for bow fires and additional arrow, yeah. But it's also the most expensive. If we are to price check this fracture, which by the way you go to base item, you disable this and you search. You see, and let's uh, lower the item level also. More than 20 divine orbs, which is pretty sucky, yeah? It's expensive crafting here, but you will make your money back. Uh, these bases, by the way, all these free bases, I snatched them from the trade website for 10 divines, 15 divines. So I don't pay 20 divines for this base. For the quivers, I always apply deafening essence of scorn. Yeah, This uh, guarantees critical strike multiplier on the quiver. Bows that have life, critical strike multiplier, bow attacks, final edition arrow, tend to be expensive. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna apply this until I get other great modifiers. I already know what sells. Let me put you in the, uh, now on the screen so you know. For the quivers, the best modifiers that you can get, it's tier 1, tier 2 life, tier 1, tier 2, the, uh, two increase damage with bows, bow attacks, fire additional arrow, Critical Strike Multiplier, Critical Strike, and Attack Speed. These are the best modifiers that you can get. This already has value, I know for sure. So I'm gonna price check it. You know, it will be harder to price check because, again, many quit the league. It will be a pain. No, this is not accurate. I wanted to make even a price checking guide and uh, I couldn't. I couldn't because many quit it. I'm gonna tell you this is good. But uh, let's try to grab more. Maybe we get something more crazier. Usually you want with life. Also you want some life. Yeah. You, since the base is expensive, it makes sense to craft an expensive quiver, you know? 
So you don't stop for anything, only the finest here. Look, I have here life. Keep in mind that you can also use this orb, which is orb of an almond. For example, here I want to annul the lighting damage to attacks, and I did it. So now I have three great modifiers, critical stay multiplier life, which is tier one. Okay, let's try with this to price check like this. And we still can craft. For the quivers, what you need to understand, again, you will craft a special betrayal craft. My favorite here is this one that grants frenzy charge generation. It sells lot hotcakes. Yeah. So try to unlock it. And you put perfect roll here. And this sells very good. And now you can sell it after you put two exalted orbs and uh, pray you get something good. If you don't get something good, you continue crafting. Oh, ho, ho! tier one. This is tier one. Let me check. Oh, shit. This is great. Oh, shit. This is a great quiver, my boys. Oh, ho, ho. and okay. I can. Uh, what I want here, I want, I want to hit damage with bows. Oh, physical damage. Also good. And keep in mind, before you sell, you want to put a bless over the implicit so it's perfect. 30. Because bow attacks, finish, it's already an expensive quiver. So why not make it more expensive? Now. Uh, again, uh, it's hard to price check because few people play the league. I need to use my memory. So this quiver here is 17 diviners. Yeah, you need to trust Pio guy because Pio guy played a lot of Path of Excel. Hey, <laughs> so good, so nice. So this is 70 divines with current prices. I'm talking now because on league start, uh, it's a different economy. You see how to craft it. Okay, my boys, let's craft something else. We also craft uh, some attribute rings. Very easy, my boys. You know, you don't need to think too much. And let's try to craft now some boots. Same elaborate procedure. We go with the essence, which is here. Definitely, guess, man, I need to check if I'm recording. Sometimes I forget. Okay, I'm recording. You know, sometimes I start the video and I forget to push the record button. And I, after two hours of talking, I realize that I talked and I get mad and I start crying. And I'm going to apply here some... Uh, yeah. Same procedure. If you notice, this uh, boots has evasion rating because I want to trigger spell suppression. Yeah. This is a trick that pure guy teach you now. Okay, I trigger spell suppression. Okay, we have chaos that is just spell suppression, dexterity life. This is an expensive boots. Even it's not tier one, it's still expensive. You need to trust pure guy here, and we can also craft. Mm. So I'm going to get free suffixes, prefixes, we movement speed. So keep in mind, all the boots need to have movement speed. And what POE guy tells you, you will craft betrayal special crafts. So movement, that one with onslaught. This is the best, in my opinion, for boots. Uh, it generates onslaught when you kill enemies. A lot of builds want this. And now the last step, you know what we got? You check the modifiers. One, two, three, four, five. You can put an exalted orb and you pray that you get something good. Oh! You know, it's shit. But it's better than nothing. Yeah. Another trick that I like to do here, it's a very powerful trick that few people actually do. You know, now I'm sharing personal secrets, but you know, maybe you appreciate this video and it's worth it. Here again, you want to put something that can be used in a lot of builds. I like free generation rate. This can be used on multiple builds. And here you always, for boots, go with movement speed 5%. And I will explain why. Let's get it first. 5% movement speed. Why do I apply this? Because if the guy searches on the trade website for a pair of boots, and he puts in the search parameter minimum 25 movement speed, your boots now will appear. If the guy puts 25 and you ho don't have this implicit with 5% increased movement speed, your boots will not appear because you have 20. So this is a trick that you can apply so you find more buyers for your boots. Yeah. Okay, based on my experience, I need to price check these boots. This is uh, 30, 35 divine orbs. Yeah. Uh, again, you need to trust POE guy. Good. In the next league, because we will, uh, people will return to the game, I will do another price checking guide, you know, more complex, more elaborate. The old one I deleted because it sucked. There are, uh, you know, I can even give some spoilers in this video. I will, okay, I will give you the formula now. And now, why not? Let's see what else we can craft. Let's craft a helmet. Why not? Look here, same thing. We have evasion rating, yeah? yeah here, and I, you know, let's try with a different fracture, man. Let's craft this quiver with... Uh, where it is, man? Here. Yeah. So let's say you're a sucky boy and you're poor and you don't have money to buy a base with both fire and additional arrow, which is fractured. No problemo. We take uh, another um, tier 1, uh, you see, lighting damage to attack with tier 1, which is a prefix. What you need to understand that both fire and additional arrow, it's a suffix. 
Okay. So for quivers to be expensive, you always put the uh, essence of score. If you don't have money for deafening, maybe after this video, the essence price will bump up again. You will buy shrieking essence of score. Never use uh, screaming, just shrieking and deafening. Uh, if the quiver is very expensive, of course, you will use deafening. If it's not expensive like this, you can use shrieking, which is uh, uh, more cheap. Now, this will guarantee that you get critical strain multiplier. And you click it until you see a damage with bows or something crazy. Look, I'm going to click it. Oh, this is good. You can craft life even. Or even you can put uh, here an exalted orb and play some, give something useful and craft life. But uh, here what I like to do. I will click it until I see bow attacks fine addition arrow. Or when I see crazy other modifiers that has value. Yeah. Let's see what we get. Why not? Even this one, because it has good resistance, this is not a bad quiver, man. What I'm gonna do here, so we check. Free suffix means two prefixes. I can put an exalted up and I will put it because I can uh, get life or bow attacks damage with uh, bows. Let's see. Damage with bows, we get it. Now we craft life. And of course, you try to get a good roll. Okay, let's put it here. Remember for the quivers to put bless orb. So we want 30 or 29, you know. If the base is not expensive, 29 is fine. 30 is perfect, good. So now let's try to price check this. Yeah. So for this quiver, I paid uh, 20 kios or I think. And let's see how much profit we made. Yeah. So in case you don't know how to price check, you always start with the expensive modifiers first. And the most expensive is critical strike multiplier. Life, elemental resistance. These three are the most expensive. Uh, lighting resistance also, this. But the problem is people pity the league and you won't find any exemplification. The second part of price checking is you lower the modifier until more appear. So this I will lower to 50. None appeared. I will remove life. This is how we do it. But now the league status is so toxic that uh, nobody is playing. So it's hard. I need to use my experience. So this quiver here is four divine orbs. Yeah. Solely based on my experience because uh, trade website is uh, shit at the moment. Yeah, four divines. Make it. Let's craft something else, my boys. Let's craft some uh, attribute stacking ring. Yeah, this I crafted by mistake. You know, I put just two essences and I made it. Keep in mind. Uh, the, so for this base, I paid 10 chaos orb. After I crafted, it's much more. Let's remove this. You see, after I crafted more than five diviners, but it gets even better because we have uh, intrinsic catalyst that you can get from ultimatum now. And you bump up the attributes even more. Yeah, you can do it like this. You also bless up the implicit. It's very important. So it's perfect. And now let's price check again, just because I put the attribute. Let's remove this. You see, now you can sell it not for five, for eight. More diviners. Yeah, and this, so to craft this ring, I paid under 50 Kyosorb and I made more than eight diviners. Yeah, let's put it here. Three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. So I'll put it for eight divines to undercut competition. Let's try to craft an attribute ring now. Yeah, what you need to understand that um, the best base for attribute crafting it's amethyst ring because people also want some chaos resistance. Yeah. Uh, let's see the trade website. Maybe I can snatch something, you know, to craft more. Hmm. Man, this sucks. Let's put here 5-5. Five, five. Uh, I need to check a few things. Let's go. No. Uh, you know, and also this is not a great league. You see, you see this fracture? Man, this is bullshit from the graveyard system. But in the future, this will not be the case, you know. Um, yeah. So let's try uh, another fracture with dexterity. Good. No, total dexterity. And you click here for a fracture. And you put 55. Usually you want also a good roll. Let's uh, force it to 52. Yeah. You never know. Some are uh, sucky boys in Pet of Exile and they post things very easy, very low. You know? And you can snatch them. Look here, snatching and reselling. <laughs> Personal secret I don't share it with everyone. Fracture 52. Because I, if I share this snatching filter, nobody will make profit. Yeah, this is easy. Okay, okay, okay. No, these are expensive. So for this ring, I bought it for two or three diviners. Very cheap. Yeah. I did wrong because I used Catalyst, but let's craft it. If you want to craft an attribute ring, basically you want uh, Strength, Dexterity and Intelligence to be high roll. Yeah. This is uh, locked in place, the Strength roll, so let's try to put with um, 
intelligence or dexterity. So now we have two modifiers locked in place, which are tier one. And I'm gonna click it until I also get intelligence. Yeah, and I pray that I get intelligence tier one. So this is actually a very brain. Look, I got it. So fast. Also with energy shield, man, this is expensive. And man, oh shit, and this tier one. Oh, oh, oh. oh my boy. And remember to craft a betrayal craft because you listen to PoE guy. You now because it's energy shield, I'm thinking. Nah, uh, I'm gonna put this channeling minus seven. Or if you really want, you can put life. Uh, these are all both great. Uh, I'm gonna put life. Good. And now we price check, my boys. We price check this beautiful ring with security. But this is expensive, I tell you. We also has uh, energy shield here. This is very expensive. Let's put 44. Let's remove this. No, the trade uh, website is bad now. Okay, so based on my experience, this is 40 Divine Ops. We crafted very easy. So I paid two Divine Ops for the base and I made 40 Divine Ops like this. Yeah, good. I'm gonna put it here, 40 Divines. Let's craft some more. I, I bored you? If I bored you, close this video and uh, be a sucky boy in Path of Exile because you will not make profit. If you're not bored, keep watching. Okay, my boys, here I... Uh, this is a base ring from Heist. Yeah, I rolled it before making this video because I'm gonna apply a fracturing orb. Hoping that I can fracture either intelligence or strength, because they are highest tier. So it's uh, fracture world works like this. If there are four modifiers, which they are, when I apply it, it will fracture one of them. So here I want to fracture intelligence or strength, else it's a brick. It's a brick. I won't craft it. I won't craft it, but, uh, you know, let's craft something else. Pretend that didn't happen. Let's craft some boots or gloves. Let's craft some gloves. Here with life, we have uh, the cold resistance locked in place. We put this essence. And remember what POE guy, you will click it until you get uh, chaos resistance or spell suppression. Usually spell suppression is better. Great. We also have dexterity. So now I'm going to press check. You put like this. Uh, good life roll. Uh, if none listed, you just lower the modifier. You listen, pure guy, put 80 here and more will appear. Good. Let's see if we can craft. We have three suffixes and you can craft. So good, so nice. Let's see what we can craft, my boys. So here you have two options. Either you go with this one. Here. Or if you want, you can go with uh, damage during flask effect because everyone uses flasks. I like this. And keep in mind, there are a lot of sucky boys in this game, so you want to put some icons and embers here with some uh, useful implicits. Critical strike that can be used in a lot of builds, so it's great. No, no, no. Something general. No, no. Impale. Man, the impale is not general, it's just for melee builds. No problem, we have plenty, you know, plenty to go around. No. Mem, okay, mem, we leave it like this. And this I will sell it, I will tell you it's... Uh, um, seven or eight divine orbs. Seven eight divine orbs, we put it here. Let's craft more, you know, I, I started uh, enjoying this again. Uh, again, Necropolis League, it was a bad league for crafting because uh, people were making OP fractures. So this is not an ideal league, but in the future, if you listen, PoE guy, you will be great. This base, I paid 5 kills for this. Let's see how profit we can make. Again, an attribute stacker. You start to uh, make sure the implicit is perfect, which is 16. Good. And then apply it. So we have a fracture with intelligence. So we can put a fracture with strength. Well, in essence, with strength or with dexterity. I'm going to put dexterity because I have more. And I'm going to click it until I get intelligence also. Or strength. Oh, man, I already got it. What's happening? I'm making so much money. I'm gonna pry, no, we put an intrinsic catalyst. So we bump up the attributes. Okay, my boys, now we price check this beauty. You see how easy it is to make money? Poo in this game. You don't need to think too much. Think too much. My ass. Uh, keep in mind, these are special bases. So if you're gonna open the trade website, you'll see these are special rings. That's why they are expensive. You see? These are bases from ring, from haste. But it's still pretty similar, mine. Look here. Yeah, that trade website is a mess at the moment. I need to use my experience again. Uh, this ring is 25 divines. With current prices, I'm talking, yeah? 25 divines. 
yeah and uh, I invested less than 40 kilo so then I made 25 divinals boys keep in mind if you watch him so here on my beautiful sexy YouTube channel let's go here you have playlist and here all the crafting that you need for casual players and normal players that don't have a lot of time to play or they play casually or they don't want to make complex recipes just do my flask crafting guide a cluster jewel uh, guide which is pretty easy you know we don't target farm any cluster jewel it's brainless very easy very low investment very low cost and this essence crafting on fracture basis and you will be rich man i'm telling you so a lot of new part of exa players that did this um, easy tricks they made their first mirrors of calandra try it in the next league okay my boys let's try another one this one with life what you're gonna put you will put ss of scorn because critical strike multiplier on quiver it's expensive let's see how many hits till we make profit good profit here chaos resistance is decent but uh, here you can also get uh, bow attacks fine additional arrow and uh, suddenly your quiver will be mega expensive but i'm also looking for other modifiers that can sell for a good price and my boys we make profit here attack speed it's good and if you have questions, you can join my guild discord. Yeah? You can get discord and you ask me there because I'll help you. Okay, this one looks uh, decent. Keep in mind, you want to bless orb the implicit of the quiver. We're gonna bless orb it yeah, to 10. Good. Now let's price check this beauty as it is. So okay, these are the most expensive modifiers and we also have damage with both. Let's see what we can craft. To suffix. Remember, the best one is from Betrayal, which is the Frenzy Generation one. Now this quiver will also give frenzy charges and you can apply an exalted orb. This is shit, but it's better than nothing, you know. Good. This quiver here, it's 12 divine orbs. Or 10. 12 divine orbs. Let's put it 11 because I feel it's more like 10, I'll put it 11. But you still may profit with... Uh, very easy. So in the future when you find a tier 1 or tier 2 fracture, ideally tier 1, you will keep it and you will spam essences. Let's see what else we can put. Remember what? Don't craft belts, don't craft body armors, and don't craft amulets. Those are sucky. You need a very specific craft for those, you know? We want to make something lazy and fast. Ah, let's try another people. Okay, we have uh, lighting resistance and we're gonna play a green, so we guarantee life. And we're gonna keep, look, chaos resistance. Chaos resistance, my boy. I'm gonna price check it. It's already good. It's already good. Let me think what we can do. Suffix, suffix, prefix, prefix. Okay, well, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna put the area of effect. I'm gonna put it with perfect roll. Come on, get it today. Okay, good. And for the last modifier, I'm gonna put exalted orb here. Life regeneration is decent. A lot of sucky boys, you put generic uh, pierce an additional target. This can be some use. Physical damage. No, maximum. Okay, I'll sell it like this. These gloves will sell pretty fast for 5 Divine Orbs with current state of the league, yeah, took 5. 5 Divine Orbs, yeah. So you buy a bay for 20 kills, or you roll it a few times and you make good Divine Orbs. So good, so nice. Let's try another Quiver, this one. This one I bought it from a guy yesterday, I paid 12 Divine Orbs, he said that we'll watch this sucky video, so he learned how to craft for real. Okay, my boy, this is for you, I will craft your Quiver. Deafening essence of scorn because this is an expensive base. You start with uh, implicit, which is perfect. Good. Now I'm gonna apply it. So this guarantees critical strength multiplier, and I apply it, and still I see something very good. Okay, you will get it eventually. Don't worry. Okay, my base for all damage to attacks. This is tier one, I think. Good. You also you can uh, make use of the orb of annulment. So we have annul the dexterity. No, we keep going. Good life, good physical damage. Let's make it tier two. Mm. It, it can work. You can also, if you're lazy and you uh, put some exalted or dexterity, not bad. Suffix, 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 prefix. Uh, and maybe we get damage with both. Uh, but it's low roll. Uh, we keep going. Uh, keep going. Don't do this, you know, here. You just uh, apply this different case of scorn until you get good tier one and tier, tier two other modifiers. This is what I'm doing here. Ooh. Suffix, suffix, perfect, perfect. This is not bad. Yeah, you can uh, you can do it like this. You put a uh, safe way, you put some life here. And you may profit. Very easy. So for this base, I paid 12 divines, and now it's worth much more. So let's price check. 
We have critical stat multiplier, some attack speed, some life, call damage to attacks. Again, uh, trade website is horrible now, so I need to use my experience. This quiver is uh, 35, 40 divine orbs. I'll put it 37. 37 divine orbs, and we made, we tripled our initial investment. Good. Now let's craft another one. You know, I, I can't stop. It's so good, I can't stop. Let's take this one, it's a decent fracture. You start with the bless orb, you bless of the implicit to perfect, which is 30. Okay, I got it. Now uh, you will notice that it's uh, magic status, so you need to make it a rare, so we can... Let's apply this. And now I'm gonna put different guesses of scorn. Yeah. You see, guarantees critical time multiplier. And we click it until we get something interesting and expensive. Remember those modifiers that I taught in the intro? Yeah, those are the best modifiers that you can get on a quiver. This is not bad. Attack speed, critical stat multiplier on good rolls also, some um, resistance is good. What are you gonna do here? Let's check free suffixes. Okay, I'm gonna put exactly those things uh, if we get uh, damage with bows. No, I didn't got it. And I'm gonna apply this again. We got damage with bows. Yeah, this is a good quiver. Okay, let's start. So critical stat multiplier attacks. Let's start with this free. Maybe we find something. Mine is bad weather, we have damage with both, some resistance, yeah, this is 15 divine orbs. 14, 15 divine orbs, we put it here. Very easy, very nice. Man, I need to uh, sum up this video because many of you got bored, yeah? When I get bored, people get bored, it goes like this. So remember, forest and crafting. Boots, gloves, helmets, rings, even if it has um, resistance tier 1, you can still craft the ring, yeah? Uh, and quivers. This is what you need to do. Don't try to craft anything else. This is all that you need to do. See you in the next video, my boys. Remember that I'm updating all my older guides. You have the playlist here. You know, if you want to check my channel, good. I appreciate it. If you don't want it, have a good day, sir. And enjoy the rest of the day. Good luck.